Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to have your very first challenge for SQLite databases. So the way that I've designed these three chapters is that by the end of the chapter you're going to have one gigantic challenge in which you're going to need to use all the concepts that we have talked about throughout the chapter. And this is where you test yourself, you test your knowledge. Usually these uh, challenges, there are going to be three, so one for each chapter, and they're going to get more and more difficult as we get to the final chapter. Uh, the reason that I'm saying up front they are going to be difficult is not to scare you away. Again, I'm an, I'm an honest person. And I want you to have a sense of accomplishment, like a good feeling about yourself when you're done with the challenge. Uh, and I believe in your skills. I'm sure you're going to do great. So let's dive into the task description. So it says create a table called students and within the table add the following columns. Student ID, first name, last name and email address. After the table uh, tables are created, oh, it is just one table. Insert uh, four records into the database. Once the database is populated with data, query the database to retrieve all the email addresses. Now you know what you have, what you have to retrieve. Now for solution, use the following two approaches: SQLite module, which is the SQL implementation, SQL alchemy, which is the abstraction of it. So uh, the way that I'm going to solve this is I'm going to ask you to pause the video. And after three seconds, you're going to see my solution. And I'm going to first attempt the first solution, which is empty, and then attempt the second solution. So pause the video. You're going to see my solutions after three seconds. All right. So how was the challenge? I'm sure you did great. So let's go first through the solution version one, which is SQLite module. Perfect. So I'm going to say SQLite. I don't need, I don't really need to comment it out. It says SQLite. So it says create a students table. So I'm going to say SQLite.connect. We know when we say connect, it is either going to create a database and connect to it or connect to an already created database. So I'm going to say students because we don't have that database now, it is going to create a database and connect to it. So we are going to say students. Now, to differentiate these two solutions, I'm going to say SQLite and dot DB. Don't forget the extension as uh, con. I, I can just say con. It's a common convention, but I like connection. It's more common. That way. So let's say cursor and we are going to say connection. Let's create a cursor object cursor from the connection object that we had and then we are going to grab the cursor and we know how we can execute it we have talked a lot about it so let's this time let's pass in uh, uh, triple double quotes so we are going to say create table if not exists uh, what is the table name it is students and then we are going to grab that. So we want to create that table for us. So we have a student ID column, which is going to be uh, an integer. Of course, it is ID. And we want it to be the primary key. And we want it to be auto increment as well. So I'm going to say auto increment. Auto increment basically means that uh, it is uh, the database is going to add that primary key, like starting from one, going to all the other numbers. So what is the next one? The next one was the first name. So first name. This is a text. Then we have our last name, which is going to be another text. And then we have our email address. So email underscore at this is th this is what we have to uh, retrieve so email address which is text as well let's come on let's save this let's just provide some space there let me provide that there as well just some indentation there we go so there is no errors hopefully and then we are going to pass in our records now instead of typing all the records we we already know how we can insert them so i'm basically just going to insert them so we have our student records alexander nancy irene sarah these are their email addresses so first name last name first name last name email address 
perfect now let's execute these records so we are going to say um, cursor cursor because there are there are more than one records so we're gonna say execute money uh, many and let's pass an insert into so what do we want to insert into we want to insert into the students table I'm gonna use the second approach where I provide the column names as well so I'm gonna say first underscore name and um, let's pass in last underscore name let's pass in uh, email underscore address perfect values so let's I could put it on a new line so I'm gonna say values so what are the values we know we are providing placeholders for the values so let's just pass in a comma and where are the values coming from they're coming from the students records so if I come down here now now we have basically inserted our records into our newly created database how can we retrieve them again as we are going to say cursor dot execute so execute what do we want to execute we want to execute a select statement so I'm going to say select we just want to retrieve the email address so you need to pass it specifically from the students table perfect we are going to say print uh, cursor um, dot uh, fetch <clears throat> excuse me fetch all uh, and eventually we would say come down here connection connection come on connection dot commit save that let's run the code hopefully there are no problems let's save that as well so let's run this let's say Python uh, four dot solution underscore v1 dot pi let's save it and it says syntax error uh, line six where is the syntax error coming from and uh, students student ID integer prim primary key so we have first name text 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 it says syntax error this create table if not exists hmm create table if not exists students so within this database we said students so student ID first name last name email address so we have provided first name last name email address insert into students uh, near that so hmm if I bring this down let's bring, put it there it is a multi-line so students let's save that we have cursor dot execute and then we say cursor dot execute many hmm should work again the same thing student oh this is dash it has to be underscore sorry let's run this there we go so you can see that <laughs> It was a silly, silly, silly mistake. So we have Alexander dot this. Uh, we have the Gmail, and then this is a tuple, of course. Uh, we, when you have a tuple with one value, you're going to end up with a comma as well. So we have that. Perfect. Now, in case you want to take a look at all records, you could do that as well. And that is by basically copy pasting a little bit of your own code. You just have to provide star keep in mind keep in mind you need to comment this one out you need to comment this one out as well because they're going to create duplicates so I'm just going to comment this one out as well save it run it the reason that I did this was just to show you the primary key how the auto increment actually works so let's go up uh, there we go so we have one so you did not create the database created this so one first name last name email two first name last name email three and then four so this is how the auto increment actually works so you can grab all of them as well and um, I think this solution is done 
we basically, I'm just going to keep this one commented. And it's it asked to, to create a table, uh, pass in these four columns, and then uh, insert four records, and then retrieve the email addresses for those records. So we are done with the first implementation. Let's dive into the second implementation. In here, uh, make sure you are within your virtual environment because we are going to use this uh, SQL Alchemy. So you're going to say import SQL. You know if you are inside the virtual environment or not when there is no IntelliSense. It's not going to show you anything. So we know that we need to create an engine. So it is SQL Alchemy dot create engine. We have talked about this for 25 minutes. So I'm going to say it is SQLi database that we want to work with triple forward slashes. Now I'm going to create another database and I'm going to say SQL alchemy dot uh, DB. Now this line either creates a database and connects to it or connects to an already created database. Let me clear that and close that. Perfect. Now this is the engine for SQL alchemy. We need to connect to this engine. So connection Let's connect to it. So we're going to say engine dot connect. So remember, this is SQL Alchemy. There is not going to be any SQL code in here. Uh, next stop, let's create our metadata, metadata, whichever is cool. So SQL Alchemy dot metadata data. And then uh, we are going to grab our students and we are going to insert them within the students table. So I'm going to create a students uh, object and I'm going to say SQL Alchemy dot table. Perfect. That is responsible for creating a table. What is going to be the table name? It is students. What are the uh, metadata? So I'm going to say metadata. And then let's pass on the columns. So I'm going to say SQL Alchemy uh sql uh there we go sql alchemy dot column this is a method available to us using the sql alchemy so whenever you want to create a column you just basically do what like the insert you just use that specific method so this column is going to create a column for us what is the column name the column name is student underscore id uh, is this an integer? What is this? So it is going to be an integer. So I'm going to say SQL alchemy dot integer. And is this the primary key? Yes. So we are going to say primary, primary, primary underscore key. We are going to set it to true. So this is the abstraction. You can see it. I cannot state it enough. This is really cool. So uh, after we are done with this column, make sure you are within the table. Um, method kind of lost the word but you're out of the column method and then you you are going to uh, access that sql alchemy again sql alchemy uh, dot column what is the next column the next column is going to be let's first underscore first first underscore name and then we want it to be a text right so we are going to say sql alchemy uh, dot text so the type is text I'm gonna copy this because we are gonna do the same thing for for the rest of the so we are gonna call the SQL alchemy again so you can see that within this table we have basically created multiple iterations of multiple columns within that and we separate them with comma so the next stop we have our last name so last name and eventually we have our call our email address so i'm going to say email underscore address let's save that there we go this is the representation that this is going to give us we could like do a little bit better so i could put it on this line and let's just provide some of this i hope this is allowed i'm not really sure i think this is allowed to do it this way let's just provide that there whereas the data data is going to go up within its specific column so I'm gonna go up then uh, last name where does it end it ends right there perfect come on buddy oh I have to provide a space here 
There we go. So this is what I'm looking for. And I'm going to provide this at the end. There we go. So this was the implementation that I was looking for. So I could, can you accept putting that on one line? No, it is not going to accept it. All right, cool. So let's grab our metadata. And we are going to say create all. Because we have more than one record, we need to create all of them. Perfect. And we need to pass in the student records. So I'm going to say students, student records. This is going to be, uh, let's grab the students. So students, not the records, the student object that we created right here because we want to insert that within that table. And then we are going to say insert. We have already done this. Values, these are all like Pythonic code. I'm going to open up a, a list and within the list, we are going to pass in a diction. We are going to pass in like dictionaries. So I'm basically, I'm just going to copy paste that. So what do we have here? So we have one dictionary that this is the first dictionary. This is the second one. This is the third one. In case you're, this is not readable enough, this is the th fourth one. So within each dictionary, we have key values. Key for the column names, values for the column records. First name key, uh, the Alexander is going to be the value. Last name key, Honold value. Email address key, alexander.honold at el.cool is going to be the value. Basically, this is going to take a lot of time for me to write out. Now, we are going to say connection. Let's execute this. So execute student records. And then we know that uh, which one is going to give us a selection, or, uh, a result proxy and a result set. Now, because we are actually not uh, interested in result proxy, we just want to grab a we just want to select the email addresses. So I'm going to say selection instead of query, I'm just going to call it selection query. And I'm going to say SQL alchemy dot select. So what do we want to select? We want to select from the students table dot uh, columns, perfect, dot email underscore address. Perfect. This is going to return to us an um, this is going to return to us a query. We need to execute the query as well. So I'm going to say selection. Uh, I'm going to call it result. So I'm going to pass in this. Let's grab the connection dot selection dot execute. Sorry, we need to execute this query. So basically, I'm just going to copy that and put it here. Now that the query is executed, we end up with an iterable this selection is an iterable. How can we iterate over it? So we are going to say print selection. My computer is really overheated. That's why it's not a bug. It's just my computer doesn't work properly. It's very, even though it's very powerful, but I guess VS Code is even more powerful. So we are just going to say fetch. Oh, let's save that. And hopefully crossing our fingers, there is no error. So we're going to say Python uh, four dot solution underscore v two dot pi. Let's run it. Oops, this is the first one. So SQL Alchemy has no. Oh, we need to run our activate our environment as well. So let me activate it. It says it is already activated. So let's take a look at that. So if I say exit, perfect. Uh, pip env shell. Right, clear this. Let's run solution version two. So again, so now we know that it is actually a an error. So it says it doesn't have integer. Oh, the reason for that is this is lowercase. This has to be uppercase. So integer uppercase. These three texts they should be uppercase. They should have uppercase t's as well. So let me run this code again. And voila, there we go. We have done it. So we have our email addresses. Because this tuple has only one item, that's why there is an extra comma. We have talked about how we can create a tuple with one item before, like right in the start of the course. So what we did was we solved the challenge in both of the ways using the SQL Alchemy module and the SQL Alchemy. Alchemy, Alchemy, whatever it is you want to call it. And it has been fun. So. That's it for this lecture and for this chapter. I hope you're ready for more advanced and more expert stuff 
because coming up we are going to talk about MySQL and then Postgres. See you in those chapters.